Hey y'all, how are you? Welcome back to our channel. Uh, today we are kind of doing an impromptu video here. I wanted to show you guys how to decrystallize, I guess would be the word, uh, your honey. So I source my honey from Azure Standard and I get it in this big, what is this? 12 pound container of honey. It's raw and what happens is over time, as there's moisture, uh, especially once it's already been opened, um, the moisture can kind of get in there and crystallize your honey. So I wanted to show you guys how I personally decrystallize it. There are other methods, but this is one that I recommend because when you put it in the microwave to decrystallize it, it actually kills a lot of those properties within the honey that are extremely beneficial which is why when I'm baking with honey, I try not to use um, like my really good locally sourced honey because that is gonna be extremely good for allergies. So um, again, I mean, even this, this raw honey here, this has a ton of properties in there that you don't want to kill. So being that I don't wanna kill those properties, I don't really wanna zap it in the microwave and put radiation to it and it just makes like dead food. So what I do is I use this spatula thing here. It's kind of like a hard uh, spatula. It's plastic. Uh, this side is rubber and it's by to, to vol, to Volo, um, whatever that means there. Um, so I use this, I got it off of Amazon. And so I go through and I dig out and scrape out all the honey. And then I put it in this glass container here. And what I will do is I will put this in a pan of water on the stove with a silicone mat underneath of it to make sure that it doesn't get too hot and shatter. So we're gonna go ahead and continue putting the honey into here. And then I'm gonna get it over there on the stove and just kind of melt it down. And that kind of decrystallizes it. And I'll show you the, the glass containers that I put it in after that. Okay, so that's about all that I need here. Um, I got a little bit less than half of the container. So I would say that the whole container would probably be about 16 cups because it's a little bit less than eight cups here. We still have a little bit over halfway in our bucket here. Um, so that's about all that I need for the project that I'm doing today. So we're gonna go ahead and get this in the pan of water with the silicone ring underneath of it. And then we're gonna just kind of bring the temperature up a bit and just kind of decrystallize it. Okay, so here's our honey in the glass dish with the silicone mat in our pan. And then I filled the pan up about halfway with water and then I put the ring in and then put this on top of it so we're gonna put this on for probably about 15 to 20 minutes and it should be ready by then. Okay, so here we are, woo, fogging up. Here we are about 15 minutes later. It is definitely gonna take longer. It just depends on how crystallized your honey is. So kind of use the 15, 20 minutes as a starting point and you may have to adjust up. You can also adjust down if it's not that crystallized and you're just getting a little bit out. Um, but if it is like this, it's gonna take you longer than that 15 to 20 minutes. Hey y'all, it's been more like 40 minutes and we are ready to pour these into the jars. Okay, so we have our oven mitts on and we have our honey here. Make sure that you put it on a trivet because it's gonna be hot. Don't mind my gloves, baking, cooking, all the things. So um, we're gonna get them poured, get this honey poured into these jars. And then the rest of the honey, I'm gonna save over here for my garlic. So I'm not gonna be pouring all of it today, but for the sake of the video, I did want to show you guys just pouring into the jars. I put it in these mason jars. 
You can put it in any size. I do like to go a little bit smaller uh, because sometimes it can crystallize yet again. So to make sure that it's not gonna take nearly as long, you can definitely put it into some smaller jars. You can do half pints, pints, quarts, whatever works for you, uh, depending on how quickly you're gonna get this used. It's like oil now. Mm-hmm. Does it start getting thicky, sticky off? Okay. And then get the second one. Okay. And we're gonna save the rest of this for our project where we will be making garlic honey. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. We have our two decrystallized honey jars. And then I have a total of five of our garlic honey that I used that decrystallized honey on top of. So if you're curious about that, we have a video. Uh, check the homemaking playlist and these uh, the video where I did the garlic honey will be in that playlist. So anyways, we bless you. Thank you for tuning in and we're blessed to be a blessing. Now let's go be one.